For your cartoon face, it's not quite the same as a self-portrait, and I just realized one big mistake that I made, which is that I need to leave enough room for my hair. So I have a lot of hair. If you have a little bit of hair, this might be good enough for you, but I am gonna go ahead and erase mine, and since I use my pencil really light, it's fine. So I need to make a little bit smaller of a head and I'm gonna move it down so I have more room for my hair. So I'm gonna do my U shape again. Probably good, I guess. Let's see, I got a lot of hair, man, so I just may need to make it a little smaller. Okay, so I have my U shape. I'm gonna give myself my jaw. And then since I drew really lightly, which hopefully you can see this in the video, I'm just going to erase the parts that I don't want to use now that I'm done with that. Okay, so I have my face and now I need some ears. So I'm just gonna do a little C shape ears. I'm just doing a, you can do, you know, you can do the full on ears. I'm kind of just gonna do the bottom cause my hair is gonna cover most of my ears, I think. And now it is time for some eyes. So I'm gonna look at some of these cartoon eye ideas and pick one that I like. I'm gonna give myself some really big, super girly eyeballs. We'll see how this works. Now I'm not going to worry about coloring in the black spot because I'm going to want to do that with Sharpie later. So this is going to be all black in here, but I'm not going to worry about that yet. Okay, so I've got my eyes and now <clears throat> for my mouth. Now I will say this, you don't want to be sad. You don't want to be sad in this, but you could be happy or silly or whatever else you want to be. You'll see you I just kind of, I kind of want that part to be a surprise. Okay, I'm going to give myself an easy nose, which is just this one that shows just the tip of the nose. So I have my cartoon face, and maybe I could draw some eyebrows in there too. And then I'm going to go for my hair. the awesome part about this cartoon drawing is we don't need a neck so we just need our hair I kind of wish I had longer hair now that I have kind of um, something I like I have a choice which is I can I might want to try something different and if I want to try something different um, I can turn my paper over I don't know that this really looks very much like me um, <laughs> I probably need a bigger nose, but the lips are good. Anyway, so I could try to flip it over and try a different one. So if I did want my hair a little longer, I can try moving the face up, or I could even draw the hair first and then draw the face in. I might try that. So since my hair is a big part of looking like me, I'm going to draw my hair first. Make sure it's nice and long. And then I'm going to draw my face inside of my hair. Okay, so I'm done. I have two versions. I tried this twice. I kind of like the second one because I just feel like it looks a little more like me. 
Um, so once you have the version you like, you're going to take a Sharpie and go ahead and trace the lines. have my face all the way done and sharpied out I can take my eraser and just erase away all the pencil lines that I didn't cover with my sharpie and I'm also going to go ahead and write my name on it after you've done the sharpie and before you paint your face or your hair um, we're going to use colored pencils to color in your lips and your eyebrows and your eye color and the cool thing about color pencil is you may not realize it, but you can you can actually mix co with colored pencil colors just the same way you would mix with paint. Well, not the same way. Instead of mixing it before and then applying it, you're going to mix it as you go. So you can layer colors on top of each other. And I'm going to have um, red and pink for the top lip and then the darker colors on the bottom lip. I'm going to try that. And my eyes are hazel which means they have green and brown. And then finally my eyebrows and I can mix brown and black. the part of painting our skin tones and we have this nice peach tone and I can paint a little here on the side to see what it would look like it's not bad but mine is a little redder so I'm just going well I'm gonna wash my brush gently take his mr. brush give him his nice relaxing bath dry him off on the mat and then I'm just gonna take the very tip of my paintbrush and get like the smallest amount of red I can get because red is really powerful and I'm going to mix it in there okay I think I actually need a little bit more so I'm going to give Mr. Brush a nice relaxing bath over here la dee da dee da oh, that's his bath time song and then dry him off on the mat okay and I'm going to try it again I'll get a little bit more still not very much It's always better to start with less because maybe I should and maybe I should have gone medium because you can always add a little more color but you can't really go back oh I think this might actually be good I'm gonna get it really nice and mixed in and I will compare it to the original yeah I like that better I think that looks more like my skin tone it's a little more pink and so I'm going to you could also dip in a little more brown if it's not quite dark enough and I thought about doing that too but I think I'm just gonna go with it so you are going to paint in here it might be tricky in some spots because you have all this Sharpie line done but what I'm hoping and we'll see how this goes is that you have two choices one is like I'm gonna go really careful around my eyes because I don't I just um, you know I don't want flesh colors in my eyeballs so I'm going to go really carefully around that, but if I kind of accidentally go over my Sharpie a little bit, when our paint is dry, the next class period, we will go through with our Sharpie and just trace over that with our Sharpie. So plan on for sure we'll have to do some touch-ups with Sharpie, but if you go carefully over, you'll still be able to see everything. If you just paint over the whole thing, you, you'll have a harder time because you'll have to draw your whole face again. I'm done with my face and I decided as I was going that it'd be easier just to paint over these straight lines because you can really see them through the paint and when they dry I'll just be able to go over that hair you can go ahead and paint that 
So I'm gonna wash my brush, give Mr. Brush his nice relaxing bath in his tub over here, dry him off on his bath mat so that all that paint around the ferrule, this part of the paintbrush gets cleaned off. And then once your paintbrush is nice and clean, um, you can go ahead and paint your hair. And my hair is pretty dark brown, um, but this is a cartoon and also I think it's gonna be a little more interesting if I have a couple of colors in here and not just one. So I'm gonna use um, a light brown and a dark brown, or I guess this red brown and a dark brown. When you're going around the face, here's a little tip. If you hold Mr. Brush nice and steady on the side and use the side of your brush, you'll get a nice smooth line. Whereas if you use the tip of his hair and try to get it, it's gonna be more jaggedy lines. So that's the trick. If you want around the face to be nice and smooth, then use the side of your brush. And another little tip I like to use, um, I w kinda wish I had waited on these highlights, um, but I like to outline first and then if I outline then with the side of my brush, then I can fill in, and I might just cover this up and go over it again. Then I can fill in and go a little faster. But if you go slow on the outline and fill in, then it still looks neat, but you can kind of get it done a little bit quicker. When your face paint is dry, it's gonna be time to very carefully take a Sharpie and go over any of the lines you drew that you painted over. And this can be a little tricky, so just go super duper slow like you're a sloth and you'll be fine.